So in this video I'm going to take you through the date time module in Python. So let's go to our Python shell. And first things first, we have to import the module. Date time. And let's start with creating a date. So we can do that by doing d equals and then from the date time module we want to use the date class and in the date class we pass it the parameters so the first is year and then the month and the date press enter and then if we print that we can see the date time object so let's print d and that'll give you more of a human readable output we can also access each individual component so we can do let's start with this we can do d dot year to access the year d dot month to access the month and d dot day to access the day another way you can create a date is using the today method so let's say d equals and then in date time dot date let's use the dot today and that will give you today's date so in the date time module we also have the time class to create a time so let's create time by doing t equals and then use the time class and in there we can pass the hour minutes seconds and milliseconds so if we print t we can see that it's one hour two minutes three seconds and four milliseconds and just at the date we can access each individual part so we can access t dot hour like that t dot minute like that t dot seconds oh t dot second and t dot microsecond like so. So let's say you don't want to create date and time individually, you want a date time object. We can do that by using the date time class in date time in the date time module. So let's do date time dot date time, which is the class. And if we have date and time already created, we can use the dot combine method and in there we can just pass date time that we've in and let's print dt and see what it is so as you can see with it's created the date time object with our date 2018 third 28 and the time object as well now if you don't have a date and a time object and you want to create date time you can do that the same way you do with the date and time you can do dt equals date time dot date time and then pass in the year the month the day hour the minute the second and the millisecond you don't have to pass all of them in they are optional so there we go if we print that And just like the today method, we can use date time now to get the current date and time. So let's print the current date time. So print date time dot date time dot now. And that'll give you the current date and the current time. So once you've created your date time, if we want to amend it, we can do that by doing dt dot replace and give it the parameter that you want to replace. So let's say we want to replace the year 
and we want it to equal to 2000 rather than 2018. Press enter. It shows us that it's changed the year here. And if we print it out, so you can see that actually it's not changed the DT because, like the string, this is a mute uh, date time is immutable. So if you wanted to change, we would actually have to create a new date time object. So let's do DT replace year equals two thousand. Now if we look at DT instead, DT two, we can see that that's changed. So the date time module also has a time delta class. So let's create a time delta. Time delta, and the time delta has the days parameter, seconds, microseconds, minutes. hours and weeks if we print the time delta we created we can see that it's 10 days 2 hours 5 minutes and 2 seconds so time deltas can be used to do date time arithmetics uh, so for example let's say we create a time delta of 3 days with date time dot time delta so days equals three and let's create date time now so date time date time now and let's take away so let's create a new date time and take away three days from now And if we print the now date time and we print the new date time, we can see that the now date time is the 30th and the new date time is the 27th. So it's taken away three days from it. So now that we've explored all the classes in the date time module, let's look at how we can format and pass date time. Let's create a date time today. So date time, date time, today. So the default string representation of a date time object uses the ISO or ISO. 8601 format so if I print that out that format is basically year month day and then the time like this so if you want to change that format to be more human readable like the weekday month in words we can do that by doing f equals and then defining our format so we want the weekday, the month, the date, followed by the time, so the hour, the minute, and the second. And we want to end it with the year. Uh, so once we've defined our format, if we can create the string by doing s equals and then using our daytime object today and we can use the method str f time so that's the string format time and we pass it the format that we want it to change to so if we look at string now it says friday march 30th followed by the time and then the year so that's how we format a date time
we can also turn a string into a date time by passing it so let's do that so pass dt equals date time dot date time and we'll use the string pass time function and then we pass it the string that we want to pass and the format that we defined before and if we look at past dt it's a date time object with the, the right year and the time so there's quite a few formatting options if you want to find more of them you can go to the python official documentation that's the link I'll, I'll put that link in the description and that's all for date time so i'll see you in the next video